Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, and in this video, we're going to go over some more really cool consignment stuff, and um, some of the stuff I haven't seen in a while, and then we're also going to open up some vintage packs at the very end. I know we haven't done that in a while, and I do have some vintage packs for sale um, as well to go along with that, but first up, we're going to start with this consignment. This one right here came in, I believe it's starting either tonight or tomorrow. You can see right there, we got the Shining Arceus. Celebi, got a Mega Charizard 10, Blastoise EX, look at that, got a couple Scream promos, got the Mimikyu, got the Pikachu, got a Gold Zekrom, Mint 9, got the Charizard promo, number 366, got all these cool Pikachus, got a Hakama Pikachu, Yokohama Pikachu, another Yokohama, different uh, number, then you have the Firefighter Pikachu, you got the Mimikyu from the special, or the Pikachu from the Mimikyu special box. I believe the it, number 163 on the English side or something like that. We've got another Charizard from the 20th anniversary. We also have the Blastoise, you know, with the gold border. And then we're going to finish off with the Pokeon, Pokeon <laughs> Collection First Edition Pikachu. And this guy actually sent some stuff along with it. And check it out. It actually says, enjoy this gift. Cheers. I'm going to check on this one. I don't want to open it just in case he didn't mean to give that. Evolutions um, box. Is, like, this was all packaged together. So it, it kind of went and makes you feel like it is, but just in case it's not. And if it is, of course, I'll open it up in another video. Oh, check it out. So this is the Charizard. Um, I believe this is the one that was from the Canadian box. Maybe he knew that I needed this one. I need it for my PSA set collection and you know it's got the white dots at the top so it's not going to pull the 10 but from what I hear this is a pretty tough card to find in a PSA 10 gradable condition got a nice swirl right there I don't even know if PSA recognizes this yet but um, either way I'm going to have to get it graded in time to add to the Master Zard collection and then this right here is an Evolutions pre-release kit which could actually have a pre-release Charizard in it now, I don't know how much these run. I know the if it had the Charizard seal pack inside of it, I, I was buying a few of those at a thousand bucks a piece. So I would think, since there's a one in four chance, it's worth it. This is at worth at least 250 bucks, probably more. But then again, prices could have come down. But yeah, that's really cool. So before I <laughs> assume way too much, that's very expensive. Um, I'm gonna ask him because I did not schedule it out with these other items, and you know, of course. Uh, I'll get it. I'll try to get it scheduled out if I can. All right. So next up, we have some more stuff on consignment. Yeah, this one is almost like a uh, starts off slow and then it gets really fast at the end. So we've got some Jungle First Edition PSA tens. You can see these right here. All these are going to be going to no reserve Sunday night. I think his stuff lasts from like five to roughly six p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so it kind of gets like the the premium slot. Really around 6 o'clock is kind of where you want to aim for if you want like the, the pinnacle of what research says is for the results. But, you know, I think there's a lot of stuff that can play into it, especially it's going to vary based on the week, the day, you know, the month, the time of year, that kind of stuff. But check it out. First edition Jungle Hollow has got the Clefable, Electrode, Flareon, Jolteon. That's right, the Kangaskhan. You guys can kind of see where this is going. Mr. Mime, Neo Queen. It is indeed a complete... PSA 10 first edition jungle hollow set and they are all going straight into auction there's a big one Snorlax and Vaporeon those are probably going to bring the biggest numbers out of everybody and you can look it's not got those white dots on the edges that you would think there's nothing I mean these are really nice tens you know a lot of times when people see those low certs they think you know that, that they're going to be lower quality but a lot of times they're not. It just, to me, I think there was more inconsistency back in the day. Now it's just a lot harder to get that same 10. And who knows? You know, it might change again with the 50 millions or the 60 millions as more of those come out. Also, we have a Pikachu Reverse Hollow from Legendary Collection. We have a Red Cheeks Shadowless Pikachu. And then this one is actually not going 
to be in auction. I did temporarily accept a few of his items for buy nows and for pack openings on the website. There were several reasons I made an exception for this consignment, but still overall, for any of you wanting to consign packs, I am not accepting those, but I did make an exception for some of his. Check it out. Blue Eyes White Dragon DDS. I still need this one myself. Um, I'm, I've contemplated buying the one that he's wanting, but he's wanting $17,000, which is a lot cheaper than any of the other ones that are on eBay at the moment. Of course, if you have an offer, you can submit it, but if you are interested, please do let me know, and I will get that offer to him, or if you want more pictures, beautiful uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card there. Not only that, he actually has some other stuff too. We have a few heavy Neo Discovery booster packs. I believe they're like $8.95. He's got some first edition jungle and Wade, I think right at 345. Got some first edition Neogenesis on Wade, I believe at 875. I'm trying to remember everything. Uh, there was one jungle heavy at 625. You got some first edition Gem Heroes on Wade, 325. He also has some base. These are at 395, and this is a uh, those are base Japanese on Wade. And then uh, last but definitely not least before we get to the actual opening, we have this right here. We have a base set booster box. It does have a little bit of shelf wear, but overall it's, got, it's actually in really nice shape. No major dings to the corners. See like a little heat seal hole right there, which is natural to see every now and then. I'm not sure why, but I think my mom just turned her TV back on. <laughs> so, sorry if you guys are hearing a lot of that in the background. She likes to watch Cold Case Files. Yeah. So, he's also asking 17000 for that box, which is half of the price of what it was this time last year. Kind of crazy. Who knows where it's going to be next year? Is it going to be half again, or are we going to double back up? All right. Now, to get to the pack openings... Got some vintage packs, and of course we do have some fossil. But we also have a few packs that we bought from this pack lot, actually. For those of you who are on my email list, I sent out an email to you guys letting you know what was up. I don't know if those packs are actually going to go to auction anymore. We'll, we'll just have to see. Um, however, I am missing... Oh, there it is. All right, so we have two heavy fossil booster packs. This is Fossil Unlimited. These are still for sale on the website. And any of those other packs, they should be available on the website or eBay, whatever you want. Uh, but they also bought two Unway Gym Heroes first edition packs, which again, those were 325 something like that. So let's see what he gets from here. The heavy packs do come with a guarantee, as always. Any heavy packs sold through me, they're guaranteed to have that hollow. And if they don't, you get your refund or another pack opened as long as there's another one available. We have Kabuto, Horsey. Let's see what Colin gets. There's your Krabby, Magmar, Slowbro, Golbat, Geodude, and oh, you got the Gengar. Nice. <laughs> I I was just showing the Sky Ridge. There's a Gem 10 Sky Ridge Gengar. Uh, I showed it in the last video on Instagram, and now we pulled this one. Beautiful. It does have you can see those print lines there, but. You, I don't know. I'd, it's kind of nice when you pull, you know, a perfect condition card. This, not, you know, maybe some muck or something like that. But I just like pulling, you know, the big name cards as well. And the back is centered well, great condition. And for those of you who've been wondering, I've been kind of sporadic in and out of emails the past uh, three or four days because I've been building a whole new room within my building. In fact, today we had a hot water heater installed. But in three days, I cut out the floor, cut out the, the walls, framed in the walls, did the electrical sheetrock, mudded, painted, and put up the doors and framework. And that was like full in, you know, for five walls in, um, in under three days. And really, day two was just sitting back, waiting on mud to dry. All right, pack number two for Colin. See if you can get a, a, as good a hit as a Gengar. They will hit do double Gengar. Have we ever done that before? I know we've done double Articuno. Then double Typhlosion, but it wasn't, there were different Typhlosions. Alright, Horsey, Ammonite, Ekans, Psyduck, Mysterious Fossil, Geodude, got the Slowpoke, Slowbro, another Magmar, Tentacruel, 
Oh, ditto. Well, I was hoping for the Dragonite as soon as I saw that white, but we got another ditto. That's like the third or fourth ditto I think we pulled from these heavy fossil packs. And you can see the centering's off a little bit on this one too. But I don't see any print lines, which is nice. Backside, you can see how that centering sticks out a little bit more. Let me put these hollows in these CGC semi ridges. I actually think these are probably the best quality semi ridges out there on the market. The ones that I've been offering to sell, like through that code, those are the black uh, black card X ones. That's the one where you can get like that back there. I can't remember if that offer is still valid, but it was like you put in a certain code, then you can get the price knocked down to like 140 bucks for a case of 2,000 or something shipped to your door, which is you know crazy. It's like a fourth of the price of where it was last year, but I think they were just trying to move product. But those are a different quality, I think, than these, and that's why they're a little bit cheaper. Actually, I've only got a limited supply of those left before I run out on eBay. Now, Colin has two more booster packs. These are unweighed. To me, if I'm feeling, you know. This one kind of feels a little bit heavier than this one, but maybe it's just my right hand. I don't know. So we'll equip the Misty first. Even if you could, um, like even if these had been weighed, like I don't think you can weigh these. Like I've seen people open up packs from the same box that weighed 0.3 grams less than, and then the point th the one that was less had the hollow, and the one that weighed more didn't. It was just kind of crazy. But these are definitely unweighed. So hopefully you've got a uh, two and three shot of pulling a holographic card. Nice, the Missy's Duel. Got an Energy, Sabrina Slowbro, Brock's Vulpix, that's nice. Cel <coughs> Celadon City Gym, and an Erica's Weeping Bell. I think the 48, not the 49, is a little bit more expensive. Brock's Onyx, and Brock's Rhyhorn. Well, I guess you could have uh, called that whether or not you were uh, Good at filling out the packs. This is the one that felt a little bit heavier to me when I was when I just felt it in my hand. But like I said, it's so it's so subtle. I don't know if I actually have that good of a touch. At least I hope I do. It'd be nice if there was a hollow in here. And it could just be sheer luck if I did call it right. But if I call it wrong, then you pull two non hollows. Got a grass energy. There's Cerulean City Gym and another Sabrina Slowbro. Nice, you got the Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu. Misty Shelter. Brock Sandshrew. Is it the next one? No. The Rockets Training Gym. So I messed that up. So there's one more uncommon back there, and I didn't get it right with the hollow call. So sorry about that. I was hoping, you know, I'd, I'd show a little bit of magic right there, but I don't always call it right. Um, it's not the best trainer, but I always thought this one was kind of cool because it has like this dark looking scyther in the background. And then you've got a minion right there for Team Rocket. And then there's Erica's Executor. Well, over two on over two on the Unweighed Gem Heroes booster packs. I uh, appreciate your business and for letting us open up the packs on the YouTube channel. Anyways, I will get your other or all these cards out to you very soon. And I hope to see you guys in consignment. If you guys want any of these packs, just send me an email or go to eBay or my website. Same price anywhere you go. And I appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks.